Hey divers, Ali Pierce, Ali Pierce Scuba Tech Tips. This is my serious face because this is not a good news tech tip. Sorry, not all tech tips are good news. This is a bad news tech tip because your dive computer just flooded. You come up after the dive, everything's fine. You get to the surface, you climb onto the boat, and somebody says, How deep did you go? You look at your dive computer, and this is what you see nothing. And you, oh no. So, what do you do? Well, a couple of things cry. Have a couple of beers. Those would certainly help, but they're not going to help the dive computer. If you're diving in salt water, then there's a 25% chance, maybe a 25% chance that it's okay. If you're diving in fresh water, now your odds are better, and you say 50%. But what do you do? Because what happens in the next 20 minutes is critical. Here's what you do. First of all, take your dive computer. I'm going to assume it's this type. Take it out of the console or out of your wrist boot. Whatever it happens to be, or sometimes it's a strap, take it off the strap. You've got to get to the back of this. Let's go around to the back. <clears throat> take a look in the back here. Can you zoom in there, Kevin? And look in the back of this. A couple of things. First of all, you can see on the inside, can you see that bit of rust? Bad news. That little bit of rust is the battery starting to corrode with the contacts. Happens almost instantly with salt water. You got to get that battery out of there. Very, very important. Again, 25%. Well, we're down to 20% now. Let's do it quickly. You'll notice that there are two little holes on that black ring. You see them? And at the bottom of that black ring, it shows open and closed. Now, if you are one of those people that saves everything, like me, like it or not, you'll still have the tool that came with the computer. Yes, it came with it. Sorry, it did. If you did, take that tool, put it into the computer, into the two holes there. Climb one there. On there give it a turn there we go and that loosens <clears throat> the ring so now the ring is free now you can get something underneath that ring and pull that black ring off see that the black ring comes off if you don't have that little tool by the way you can use a small pair of pliers maybe or you could use a pair of seat clip pliers or if you don't have any of that stuff get a couple of paper clips straighten them out get your friend to help you and get that cover off okay now underneath the cover is that clear plastic ring that I mentioned okay you got to get that off that's the next thing there's a small crack around the edge of it get something very tiny in that crack and force it in there carefully not too hard and pop off that clear plastic cover it looks like this oh there's an o-ring too the o-ring that didn't work <laughs> get that o-ring out of there and that clear plastic that's next get that down there now underneath that in most computers you'll find a little battery retainer it's just a little piece of black plastic it's really is kind of silly you see it there little piece of black plastic, that thing, that comes out, it's just silly, but they have one, take that out of there, now there's your battery, now you can see the rust, zoom in there Kev, you see that, yeah, flooded, no question about it, take the battery out, no matter how at this point, get the darn thing out of there, so pick at it, get under the edge, and pop that darn battery out, you got to get it out of there, because the battery in there, in the salt water in particular, will destroy the computer. Your, your chances are down to less than 0%. There's the battery. You can see already, in just five minutes since I did this, the black corrosion on that battery. You see it there? The rust and the black corrosion. You've got to get that battery up. Okay? Now what do you do? Fresh water. Take all of this. I know, I know the door's open. Don't worry about it. You've already had salt water in there. So get this into a cup or someplace with some fresh water. Get everything. Put everything into some fresh water. Computer and everything, just the way it is, like that. Rinse it around. Shake it around. Leave it. Just leave it for a while. After about half an hour, take it out. Dump all that water out. Put in some more fresh water. Dump it in there again. Let it sit for a half an hour. Again, take it out. Shake it all out. Shake all that water out of there. And now, very little else you can do, unless you have some drying agent. Some people say rice. Uh, a lot of people use rice. They suggest rice if, you're, um, if your cell phone falls into the water. Rice can't hurt. I guess it will help if you have some dry, you know, uncooked rice. You can put this in. Rice acts like a bit of a desiccant and sucks water out. Quite frankly, put it in the sun. Put it out in the sun. Can't hurt at this point. All right. It's on the back. It's not on the screen. Sunlight's not good for a computer. You know that. But it's only not good for the screen. It can ruin the LCD screen. So on the back like this, in the sun, you got to get it dry now. And hopefully, now, hopefully, when you take this to your service center and explain what happened, that it flooded, it's not working, you quickly took the battery out, everything else, rinsed it, and dried it. Can they please check it, put a new battery in, new O-ring, and see if it fires up. A little bit of luck, it maybe will fire up. Now, some computers aren't like this. Some are great easier. If you take a look on the back, you'll see a slot. Can you see that, Kevin? You'll see a slot like this. It looks like a coin slot, and you can use a coin. Just be careful. They get a lot of computers coming in. People put a coin in, and they twist it, and it slipped. 
and it ruins the slot. There is actually a special tool for that slot. It looks like this, and you put it in like so, and you take that, unscrew it. This one unscrews, okay? Falls out, O-ring, battery falls out. So you have the cap and the O-ring on the cap and the battery. Same thing. From that point on, rinse and dry. Same thing. This is a transmitter, but some computer backs are like this as well. So how are you going to do? Sorry, I told you it was a bad news tech tip, but that's not really true. Because I'm always very optimistic, and I'm sure that this bad news is going to turn into good news. Follow some of these tips, and maybe it will. Anyway, there's some information for you. Maybe it'll help sometime, you or your buddy. Talk to you again soon. Take care. Alec Pierce Scuba Tech Tips.